Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Namahu wa nasalli wa sallim ala Rasulillah wa ali wa man wala. Ujikum bitaiti Islam, bitaiti indillah, mubarakatan, taibatan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alamin. Wa salatu wa salam wa salatu wa salam ala syafi ambiya wa musalli wa alaihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Bismillah syafi, bismillah mu'afi, bismillah illadhi la yudur ma'at min syawm bi'adhi wa la fis samai wa samimun alim. Rabbi syurah li sari wa sini amri wa hana tamani sani yabkau kawni Rabbi zini ilmu wa razuni fahman. Rabbana atina fi dunia asana fil akhirati asana tan wakina adabana. Dear us all, alhamdulillah, praise to Allah SWT and welcome back to our discussion on retirement planning. As we know that retirement planning is one of the important elements in the Islamic web planning because everybody will come to the age that they will no longer be able to be productive. They have to retire. So they have to plan during retirement because during retirement they need to survive and they need money to continue to live. As we need money for ourselves, our education, and we have all the necessities, we also need the money for retirement. In the earlier class, as I said earlier, if you plan your yourself carefully, you have all your necessities and you can clear yourself from that. You can put some of your money in a proper investment that generate incomes and the income is sufficient for you to live and for, for your family to live, to grow and you can have what you call as financial freedom and this financial freedom can happen to you and perhaps can happen at your early age. So can you have can have early retirement, uh, whereby there is your your investment or your what we call this your financial planning have, works for you, and you have your income flows apart from you have all, you are free from debt, and you have what we call this a financial freedom. For your information. One in three Malaysian does not have a saving account. More Malaysian did not save enough more than five years after leaving the working world. 68% of the repair members aged 45 had saving of less than 50,000. 90% of rural households have zero saving. Why in urban households 80% do not have saving? 18% of peer members achieve the basic saving quantum according to age. This is uh, some of the real facts of life. So we have to examine our retirement, determine your retirement goal, learn about retirement characteristics, get to know retirement body and scheme, retirement input and planning staff, and what will be the retirement issue. What is retirement? Retirement is the point in time when an employee chooses to leave his or her employment permanently. Why, why we need to plan for retirement? Because we need to meet our basic needs during the old golden age. To, re to retire with our dream lifestyle. To retire in financially secured condition. Why with the retirement characteristic? The age, number one is in the age early retirement or you can have a full retirement age or delayed retirement age. Reason for retirement because you made the qualified retirement age because being disabled because of medical ground they ask you for retirement. So what will be the source of your income during retirement? It can be from the government if you have your pension scheme or if you have from EPF or your income from your investment or you're from private retirement program by organization like VSS or PRS. And these are retirement body and scheme. Number one is for the government they have pension scheme. It works under Public Service Department or JPA. You have pension service monthly, a reward service and lump sum and cash award in lieu of leave where applicable in the lump sum. 
it, based on the number of your uh, services, number of years of employment, and the formula is about they give you one a quantity and multiply number of days and of year and last salary. They call it DCR amount, and the gratuity about seven five percent, and your pension will be number of service multiplied by the last salary divided by six hundred. So, assuming this is the condition, can you figure out the gratuity amount to be received upon retirement and this monthly pensionable, pensionable amount? Hmm? So, the gratuity will be 122850, 75% number of months, of months of service multiplied by last salary. And his monthly pension amount will be 2730. Number two is EPF. Uh, EPF, we have a kind of deduction from employees as well as amount contrib contributed by the employers. 11% from the employees, 12 to 13%, 13% by the employers. So the, um, the amount is, is divided into two, account one and account two. Whereby, the account one can withdraw and when you reach the age of 55, become incapacitated, leave the country or deceased, or because of investment purpose. Account two, you attain at the age of 50, or, or you can use to own a house, or financing education, or for medical expenses. The other program is private retirement program by organization. They have VSS. So company, some companies give you what call as voluntary separation scheme whereby you can have it before uh, your retirement you can voluntary, voluntarily uh, leave the company and this is normally applied to an employee who has completed 10 years of service or is above 40 years of age and that one is private retirement program by organization they call it PRS and this PRS is normally benefited to those who don't have the pension scheme but can take this uh, scheme as a form of alternative for the future retirement program. Okay, that is the first source. The second source for your retirement income for your retirement is from your investment whereby you purchase of goods that are not consumed today but are used in the future to create wealth. You can put in a short term or long term investment. You can choose low risk or high risk investment. You can invest in store, real estate, precious projects, objects and so on. So you put your money uh, for your future income. So the next thing is discussion is about retirement input and planning step. So you should know what happening for retirement. How old are you now? How much income do you need during your retirement? At what age you plan to retire? What is your desired retirement lifestyle? First, determine your financial objective at retirement. Second, what will be your available sources of fund? Third, estimate the shortfall of fund, funds required minus available fund. Fifth, Plan how can you meet these shortfalls. The sources of retirement plan disturbances. This is an issue why retirement plan can fail because of your debts. Because of inflation, there is increase in the cost of living, increase in the price of goods, or because of your health problem. And these are the things can be disturbances or issues from your sources of income for your retirement. So let us calculate. If you want to have a kind of investment, you put your last annual income to live commodity multiply numbers of years and you can find what will be the future value and you minus whatever the shortfall you, you might think will occur, then you might decide what will be the amount for your investment for it to survive for years to come. 
I put example here. You can try to embrace this example. And the requirement for saving for I mean here is that it needs to save something like 20,000 per year so that he has a retirement income of something like 60,000 per year. The last question is, and you have a one minute, 15 second answer challenge. Da -da 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 -da. Please attempt this. I give you like one minute and 15 second to answer the question. So, retirement planning, you spend then save, B, save then spend, C, save no spend, D, no saving. Which one you prefer? This is all about your retirement planning. If you fail to plan, it means you plan to fail. Allah alam, and please do your retirement planning from now until a point in time you can have what you call this financial freedom and happy retirement. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.